Captain Miller, you flew that first uh, Pan Am 707 20 years ago, New York to Paris. What was it like that October night? Well, the night was a soft Irish type night. The air was full of excitement and the departure was a routine one, even though introducing a new era in transportation. What did that mean in terms of travel, this introduction of jet to, aviation? At that time, it meant shrinking the world 40% in terms of time required to get anywhere. Mr. Dunham, uh, how different are the engines on a 747SP today than they were on the 707 20 years ago? The engine today uh, can develop, uh, uh, this engine in this aircraft develops something on the order of three and a half to four times as much thrust as the engines that Captain Miller flew on his first flight. What engines are you working on now in the short term and in the long term in terms of power and noise and uh, fuel consumption? Well, Pratt Winnie has uh, got several new engines that we are bringing along for new aircraft. And, uh, these will deliver more efficiency as far as fuel consumption and also cost of operation is concerned. And Pratt Winnie is particularly proud of that. Captain Arnold, aside from the engines on the aircraft and other advances we've talked about, uh, what's new in the cockpit that the passenger might not notice? Well, the most significant development would be the uh, inertial guidance system. What exactly does that do for the airplane? Well, uh, it pinpoints the starting position and uh, just by tracing the acceleration through uh, computers, it gives a continuous uh, readout of our present position.